Hi. Hi. All right, so this is the first Atkins family quarantine vlog. It is April 12th, 2020, and yeah. today is Easter Sunday. So this is just the first video that we're making um, about where we're at and what's happening in the world. And we wanted to share um, what's happening, how we feel about it, and, um, and kind of document as we go how it's changing and what's happening. So. And like how we feel about it, like what's good about it, what's bad about it. <laughs> Sorry, why don't you start? Well, why, no, no, why don't we explain wh where we're at? We okay. are... Today is April 12th, it's Easter. We are together at our home. Um, normally on Easter, where do we go and what do we do, Sadie? We go, we go to our great grandma's house, uh, Gigi Angie, and we have Easter, but we can't do that. Honestly. And I was reminded we actually were gonna be going to Aunt Gloria's house. Really? Today we were gonna be really? there. She was gonna host it. I like Gigi better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. So anyway, so this is our fourth week in quarantine. And quarantine means um, we are supposed to be staying home unless we have to go out of the house for essential items like grocery shopping mm -hmm. um, and things like that. For the most part, we've, I, I've been home with the girls for four weeks. I just leave to go to get food and they've basically been home for four full weeks. So let's explain where we're at and what, what's going on in the world. Because Dave, that's coronavirus. Dave's going to explain because he's working with the state police and he's very involved in it. So just yeah. tell everybody where we're at in the state of the world I don't really go like this right now. So the something called the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, is a new virus that um, just hit the United States about a month and a half ago, um, hit New York. And I remember it was something that we heard about probably the end of last year, 2019, in the late fall, actually early in the winter time, about it when it was in China. And just like anything else, you hear something in another country, you don't pay much attention to it. And then lo and behold, it, it hit New York in early March um, and it started spreading really fast. There's no cure for the coronavirus. Um, there's no vaccine for it. Um, it's super contagious and it rapidly grows. And what was happening, what we saw in other countries like China um, and Italy, um, Italy was losing about 500 people a day that were dying. Um, the thing was they, they realized Governor Cuomo, who's our governor right now, um, and President Trump realized that they needed to stop the spread in here in this country. And if we don't stop the spread, they said we could have a million to two million people in the United States that would ultimately die. So a couple weeks ago, the entire United States was shut down where um, people couldn't... Um, you have something fine around us. Oh, there was maybe a little mosquito. Okay. You got it. You got this it. Is just you got my it. <laughs> Don't work yeah. okay. okay. So, so there's the dead bug. Okay. There's the dead bug on the island. So okay. um, the I president and the governor okay. shut down the country where basically only essential workers were able to go to work. That's your doctors, your nurses to treat the sick, your police, your firemen. Um, like the highway department, only essential businesses. Everything else was closed. Restaurants are closed. Um, everything. And they want, basically, you need to stay home. You can go out to get essential items. Um, other than that, you have to stay home. People now, we're at the point today that um, people are wearing masks. Today, I went to pick up Easter dinner um, in South Salem that was made for us, and everybody was in a mask waiting outside. Everywhere you go, everybody's in masks. Even to the point... Even to the point where people are driving in their cars by themselves with masks on, which I still don't understand. Uh, but I, yeah, and, gloves, and, and gloves and wearing gloves and, everywhere. Ta and sanitizer every single day. So our life has changed dramatically in the course of one month to the point where it was everybody was getting worried about it. It was starting to be a thing that we had to talk about to the point where, okay, now everybody should be staying home and, and not getting together with their friends. The kids had a really hard time understanding this at first, um, and then all of a sudden, schools shut down. So schools are closed. 
jobs are closed down. Um, no more hair salons, no more nail salons. I mean, no like, more Bell, no more ice cream. <laughs> you know, basic everyday things that you kind of take for granted are shut down. So people have lost their jobs. A lot of people have lost their jobs. We're grateful um, with the job. 10 to 15 million. Yeah, we're grateful with the jobs that we have. You know, Dave's still working in the state police, and he'll talk about what he's been doing later, but he's still working with the state police. I'm still working at home as a beach body coach, and um, our life hasn't changed too much except for the fact that, you know, we worry about our own safety and health because of what Dave's been exposed to being, you know, right in the center of this at the epicenter here in New York um, with the Bronx. But so school shut down. And the kids and I have had to adapt to a new way of learning. Um, the kids are doing distant learning, remote learning, they're calling it, where they're uh, doing schoolwork on computers. Um, Addie's taking virtual dance classes now. I um, let's, we're going to go through the girls, and they're going to tell you some things that, um, that they've missed, you know, that have changed for them, and um, we'll go that way. Sadie, you want to start? Sure. So nice I'm, and loud. What do you miss the most? Uh, probably hockey and my friends because like hockey I was just doing so well and also my my principal's list and my test grades because <laughs> you don't really do tests and I was doing so good and yeah just I really miss hockey because like obviously as you guys know that's my favorite sport well you probably don't know that but <laughs> anyways so really she was is. supposed to have tryouts for her hockey team for next year that's been canceled she plays volleyball and, what happened? and that's been canceled. There's no volleyball games, um, no more school. She, it was her birthday, March 10th, and we were getting ready to have a sleepover with some of her girlfriends, and the parents said, you know, with all this starting right now, this isn't a good idea. That was right when it was starting. Um, so we haven't had that. We've had... Uh... Go ahead. <laughs> and also being stuck at home, which is really annoying, because I just feel like I feel trapped. And also missing vacation. We miss vacation, mm -hmm. and we don't really get to see like our family members, like our cousins, aunts, uncles, grandmas. Where were we supposed to go? Camelback. Camelback. Well, we didn't. Really we had yeah, we had an indoor water park. We were supposed to go this past week, actually, for a couple of days. The water parks are closed, um, ex you know, as expected. Uh, Dave and I were um, had an awarded trip to uh, Dominican Republic, canceled. Our summertime um, annual trip to New Orleans, canceled. Um, you know, every everything in the world is basically on pause. Let's yeah. just put it. That Our way. life is canceled. So, Addy, how about you go next? <laughs> go ahead, Addy. Well, so we'll tell everybody you. what's what's different in your life. Well, what's different is that like. I don't get to see my friends from school and dance. I was like miss them. Like I wanted to go on a vacation, but then we had to like we had to like stop and cancel it because it's coronavirus. Because like everybody hates coronavirus, I just don't like it. Yeah, you yeah. Know. what do you miss? Well, I miss my like friends and I miss okay. dance. Like I want to do dance and a lot of stuff. Yeah. Addie's now doing CCD at home, mm -hmm. dance at home, and all of her schoolwork from home, right? Yeah, and then we have, like, and then we do Zoom, which is, like, a call, basically, with, like, our whole class yep. of dance in school, so we can all see each other. Probably miss yep, so that's a great way yeah. to stay connected is through Zoom. Everybody I calls each other, and you can see everybody. Yeah, all right, and Cassidy. Then, and, Cassidy. I also, and I also miss Carvel. <laughs> <laughs> Cassidy, this is Cassie's first year in high school. She's a freshman. In sixth grade. So, and Sadie's in sixth grade, and Addie's in high school, middle school, elementary uh, school. Third, nice. She's in third grade. Yeah. All right, Cassie, why don't you share with us what's changed in your life? This is a big year for you. Not as big as seniors. That's bad because it's the last year. But I just had softball tryouts, and then everything got canceled. Like. I think it was the day after my last softball tryout yes. Um, yes. when all got canceled, and that was like really depressing. <laughs> like because it was my first year playing softball, I just had tryouts, and I've been practicing, and like no, I didn't officially cancel the season, but like, I know it's gonna, I know we're not gonna have it. We could have a fall season, I don't know, but like that still sucks. And like, <laughs> Miss Friend, I saw a friend the other day though, but we like stayed six feet. It was her birthday, so she came and visited. Uh, Who was it? Which friend? Emily. Emily. What else are you missing, Cass? 
I'm just Classy loves fa- schoolwork, so you miss going to classes. <laughs> I have more. Time. I have more schoolwork on my like iPad at home than I do actually in school. Cause like uh, yes, it's like know. a snow on a snow day. We get t- on snow day. We get a full day of work, classwork, and homework. So we've gotten that every single day of this quarantine, and that's not like public school. So it's like a lot more work. And like in classes, I could be around my friend, and I'm just like by myself, sitting in front of an iPad. So like, it's just none of it's fun. I don't like being home. Oh. I just miss anything that's not being with these people all day. <laughs> Thanks, oh, Kat. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. We love you too. So, so it's been it's been a big change for um for our family. But I will say there are a lot of people are pulling some positives out of this. Yes, everything has stopped. I mean. You know, everything that we were used to, we, we were always go, go, go every single night after school. It was lots of activities running around, run, our weekends were running around. So we don't have any of that anymore. So time is definitely on our side. Things have slowed down. Uh, the kids have more time. They are playing outside more. Um, the weather hopefully will change soon in New York and get to be real springtime and they can play outside more. I think the hardest part is not knowing when this is going to end and yeah. how long it's going to be. We really don't know at this point. Um, to put it in perspective, so New York, uh, the last week, have been losing about 750, a pe- 750 people a day have been dying. So, yes, in the last 24 hours, it was 700, I think, 49. So, there is a lot of people in New York that are dying every day from this. So, we're really in the, we're in the thick yeah. of what's going on right now. Yeah, and we're a month in. So, are there any positives, you guys? What are the anything good that's coming of this? What are you enjoying about this quarantine? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, Addy. The thing that I like is that we actually get to relax and go to school, even when I miss my friends. Yeah. Because I always want to be with my friends, but I don't want to do it at school, and we get to relax and don't have to write as much. Because <laughs> like our hand will get tired, and then we just like relax, go to sleep long as we want yeah we do have a school schedule for the daytime but they don't start school here till 10 a.m or 11 a.m or 11 depending on how much we do and we work for a couple of hours um and then they have free time so it's it's definitely a lot more loosey-goosey cassie cassie what do you like about what's her positive thing she had her hand up yeah cassie what's Uh, positive i'm just gonna say that i don't have to wake up at like six 15, 6.30. Don't have to worry about missing the train. I missed, I missed it a lot. <laughs> I don't have to worry about being called on or sitting through boring classes, even though, like, yeah, I'm with my friends. But, like, and then, like, we don't have to wear a uniform. You can go outside, watch TV. Like, I can have my phone at all times during the day. Like, mm. I It's hard to see if your phone in classes sometimes. So, like. Hmm. See, what about you? Anything well, positive? Well, yeah. I like. I guess I like watching movies almost every night. <laughs> it's movie okay. night every, every night. night. Yeah, like every night. I guess yeah. spending time with my family and seeing my dog Harper over there. He's over there. Uh, also, probably uh, getting. Um, hey, not hey, I'll say that after. But I do miss my friends and stuff. But I really like playing outside and waking up late and getting to watch TV. Yeah, but my favorite part is probably all the junk food my mom's purchasing. Yeah, <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Like, and, and, and all the items. Like, we got. She's getting us all these drawing things. We've got a we got a basketball hoop. We got trampoline toys. I mean, it's like the pockets are probably empty, but and oh well. Like this this means all right. the same. Thing. So last thing we'll talk about is just um, Dave's experience with the state police um, and what he's been going through. Because the, the other side of this is people are sick, people are dying, and. You know, I, I think the kids are far removed from that, and uh, gratefully, obviously, um, we are all in good health, knock on wood, but Dave has been fully working. engulfed in this, so just share with everybody, like, the last two weeks, like, what you've been doing. Two weeks. Because that's been our reality. So, so the epicenter of the coronavirus when it came to this country was New York, and specifically it was Westchester County. Where are we um, live? And currently, as a captain, I, I overlook all state police stuff for Westchester County. So they, we started putting up testing sites, and one of them was in New Rochelle. That was where the hot spot was. So I helped organize and um, form the testing site. Um, so I've been doing that for the past couple of weeks. But the last two weeks, um, this is like my first day off in a long time. Um, the last two weeks, I overlook and ran the entire testing site in the Bronx in Co-op City. Um, I overlooked um, Montefiore's nurses and doctors, uh, State Department of Health, um, the State Fire, State DOT, 
the National Guard, the state police, the Board of Health, um, and a lot of different agencies were there where basically people would um, drive their cars in um, and they would pull into a, a tent and they would get tested uh, with basically uh, like a long Q-tip would either go up their n nose, they'd take a sample of your nose, and then again down your throat. Mm -hmm. um, and they would get tested to find out if in fact they had COVID-19 because we were testing people because you can then identify where the most people are that are sick and you can send the most resources or hospital beds or medical supplies to the region where you're going to have the most sick people. But I can tell you that like, the, seeing the people online to get in, you saw fear in their faces. <laughs> I saw many kids that went through and um, looked scared and were crying um, to be tested. I had to get tested because nine people, nine people in the last two weeks that I worked with in the staff um, that were in close proximity to me that I had conversations with got sick from this because it's just mind blowing how contagious this is. So I got tested. It wasn't fun. Um, they like, for those that know that you get the test to see if you have uh, strep throat, they kind of dab your throat really quick in and out with the Q-tip. Yeah. This, for this test, they take the tongue depressor. Like when you go to the doctor and they held my tongue down and they stick the Q-tip down your throat and they have to rub it against your throat for like 10 seconds. Right, well, I, they, they're going to want to know the details. My words. Okay. So Don't they put up your all day. Yeah. So I'm just giving the reality of what's going on to these and people. And then our reality at home as a result of it. Right. So then I haven't been home. I've been working like 14 hours a day and um, I haven't been home in a couple of weeks. So I really haven't seen the kids. But as the result of me being exposed, um, I got tested. It came back negative. Um, I've been wearing, I had to wear a mask for a couple of days inside the house. The um, respirator mask so that uh, when I was breathing it wasn't going on the family um, so I was doing that Kristen and I were sleeping in different bedrooms which was tough I wasn't used to it uh, she slept in our spare, re spare bedroom here um, not being able to hug the kids like it was hard I never had that before um, and many long days I was getting up at four and getting home late and just exhausted so different times so yeah so it's been a challenge we're gonna wrap up Sadie um, it's been a challenge, but um, I have to say I'm very proud of the girls uh, with their attitude. There's been some hard days. You know, I know some people um, have had days where they're getting frustrated and upset and they just want to get out and be with their friends. And that's normal. Um, but we're doing the best that we can do with what we've been given. And, and I'm trying, we're trying really hard to have gratitude um, because there's always somebody in a worse situation than we are. So day, we have dying. a safe home, we're healthy, we're strong, um, we have food on the table. You know, Easter today was not our traditional Easter. We didn't travel, we didn't get dressed up, we didn't go to Mass, we watched Mass um, on TV because <laughs> churches are closed. So um, we watched it on TV in our pajamas and, um, you know, we're just making the best of it and we are enjoying the time we have together as a family because we know once life goes back to normal, that we're just going to kind of get right back to the grind. And I think the grind was what was getting a lot of people frustrated and stressed out in their lives. So this is a chance to say, you know, maybe we need to strip everything away and appreciate just the basics in life. And, and that's just being with the people that you love. So a new normal, it will be a new normal. It would be a new normal and we will never forget this. So we will document more as we go because this is still not over. We're only hmm. four weeks in. But we wanted to just start off by explaining where we're at on this Easter Sunday in April um, and how we're feeling. And things may change over the next few weeks, but we will definitely keep you guys posted. All right. Thanks. Bye. 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 Addie can push stop. Addie, you got it, Addie. Don't knock it over. <laughs>